Hi, Storytime friends. I'm so glad to see you today. I have to say, this is the highlight of my week. Getting to bring you Storytime brings me such joy. I'm so glad you're here. But before we start, we do have to sing our song. Are you ready? One, two, three. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. All together. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. And he's made us a beautiful Father's Day today. So happy Father's Day out there to the dads that are hopefully sitting there and enjoying story time with you today. I have a book to read that, once again, a book that I had never read before. I do so love finding books that I have never read. Even though I've read many, many, many books, there are many, many, many more out there. So it's always fun to find a new book. This one is called Night Shift Daddy. And I really, I really like the idea of this story, and I'll tell you about it um, at the end, um, why it's kind of, uh, kind of close to my heart. So I hope you're all cuddled up and you're ready to hear. Night Shift Daddy swings me high, shares his milk and apple pie. Rocks me in the rocking chair, reads to me and teddy bear. Soon the winter sun goes down, shadows spill across the town. Daddy says it's time for bed, calls me little sleepyhead, fluffs my pillow, tucks me in, pulls covers up around my chin. He kisses me and tweaks my nose. He says, how cozy are those toes? And then sweet dreams, and then good night, and then he switches off the light. He doesn't know I watch him go into the cold, the dark, the snow, down to the bus stop, bundled up, holding his thermal coffee cup. I watch him as our house clocks chime. His bus comes rolling right on time. He's off to work, I'm off to sleep, and off to dream. He's off to sweep. The moon grows pale behind a tree. The morning sun awakens me. Night shift daddy's home by eight to share a pancake from my plate. I lead him to the rocking chair, then read to him and teddy bear. Soon night shift daddy nods his head. I say, I think it's time for bed. I fluff his pillow, tuck him in, pull covers up around his chin. I kiss him hard and tweak his nose. I say, how cozy are those toes? And then sweet dreams, and then sleep tight. I close the curtains to the light. While night shift daddy snores away, I dress myself, go out and play. What did you think? It's a sweet one, huh? Sweet story. I love that. The reason why I wanted to tell you that it's close to me a bit and how the story um, when I read it the first time, I realized, oh, it's so close to, uh, to, to my world. Um, my three sons, my husband, worked nights for a long time. So um, they also experienced that whole seeing daddy just in the, night, in the night before it's time to go to bed. And then while they were sleeping, daddy was working and then came home in the morning when they woke up. So it was kind of sweet to read a story that uh, was more, more close to what happened in uh, my world, in my, my boys' world as they were growing up. So I loved, loved how um, she honored her daddy just like he would do for her when she would go to bed at night. And then she would, when he came home, before he went to bed, she read him a story and she tucked him in. And she said all those sweet things to him that she's learned from him. So I hope today on this Father's Day 
that you all have a great day together and you hug each other tight and do some fun things and just enjoy this beautiful day that our Heavenly Father God has given you today to enjoy. Thanks so much for being here and I will see you soon. Bye.